Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Team of the Week. And today I have for you the Team of the Week as of April the 24th. And uh, just like a very good Team of the Week, and I'm just going to go through it now. And uh, now, first of all, we have the Inform Van Persie. And now, a lot of people didn't expect him to be in this because a lot of people expect him to be in the Team of the Season of players that haven't had an Inform but have been most consistent. But now that he's got an Inform, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And wow, just look at them stats. 79 pace, which is good. 92 shooting, 86 dribbling, 83 passing, only 70 heading, which isn't the best, but just 92 shooting says it all for me, and um, I would love to play that player, he's going to be a lot of coins though, it's going to be probably about, I'm going to go with about a million coins, and he's probably going to be worth it. Anyways, next one we have the inform Gomez, he played absolutely amazing against Barcelona in their final victory, but um, he does look pretty good, I hated his non-inform. Uh, I think he's nowhere near worth a, like the rating he is. He's just bad, and I don't like him. Um, I don't know if the, it'll be the same story with the inform because informs are always a lot better. Um, but his stats look pretty good. He has 77 pace, 85 shooting, 77 dribbling, 86 heading. Uh, more of a target man than um, than Van Persie, but his shot isn't as good. Although he does have 85 shooting, which is actually very very good. Uh, might be one to look out for. Give, maybe give him a go. He's probably gonna be around 500k. Maybe about 200k, depending on uh, using team of the season and that sort of thing. Anyways, next we have the informed session on. And now this player is one of my favourite players on our team. Uh, his non uh, his non inform is uh, actually a very very good player. I actually love playing with him. But I mean, so many of his cheap team, but he is so cheap, and uh, he's a very good player. 86 pace, 87 dribbling. That says it all. He has he has amazing just um, agility. His dribbling, it's just. You can just turn in and out of every single play with him and just then just finish it off or just lay it off to one of his strikers. It's just it works so much. Anyway, on to the next player we have the inform Gaten. And um this player's actually pretty good. He has got some very good stats. He has eighty five pace, eighty one shooting, eighty eight passing, eighty eight dribbling. Uh so a very good player there. You can be used in a lot of Argentinian teams, whether some uh Liga Portuguese teams. Uh one to look out for as well there. Uh it's gonna probably be around 150, maybe two hundred thousand coins. Alright, next player we have the Inform Benega. And now this guy is one of two players I really do like from uh, this league. Uh, he has 86 passing, 84 dribbling, uh, 75 shooting, which is very good. Um, probably going to be quite cheap as well, considering there's actually a lot of uh, Argentinian uh, players in that sort of position. Uh, Messi for one. Uh, and just in that, in that league as well. Um, probably going to be around 50,000, maybe 100,000 coins, which in my opinion isn't absolutely still for, for, that, for that player. Okay. Now, next of all, we have the Inform Van der Far, and uh, I haven't heard really too much about him like since he left Tottenham. Although he does seem to be doing pretty well, he has he has an Inform, so he must be doing pretty well. Uh, he has 88 shooting, 87 passing, 85 dribbling, which is very good. Uh, I do like the, <clears throat> I'd really like to try him out. I can see him being a very useful player in many many teams. Okay, next we have the Inform Schurler, and I really wanted um, to have this player back. Well, I really do want him uh, to be to come out, to come out as a striker, as he was on the last uh, FIFA, and he was absolutely amazing. But unfortunately, he's a left mid, he's in form. But he does look very, very good. 89 pace, 85 dribbling, 86 dribbling, 85 shooting. So I don't know why I said dribbling before. Anyways, uh, very good player there. Going to be quite a lot of coins though. All right, next of all, we have the inform Sissoko, and now uh, he's actually going to be very cheap as well. He's probably going to be another still. Although his stats don't look too good on the, on the uh, card, but I can imagine his in-game stats can be very good. He has 83 pace, 71 passing, 77 defending, 72 heading. 72 heading is actually quite a lot for a left back. Um, well, you don't use his heading as much, but you would actually be surprised how many times you do head the ball with your full uh, Just from corners, and if you like switch the play across, you might need to head it away if it's a bad cross or anything like that. Alright, on to our centre-backs. We have the inform of Beloy. Haven't heard too much about this player, but it looks like a pretty decent centre back. 79 defending, 75 heading. Uh, probably going to be pretty decent in uh, quite a few people's teams. Okay, next of all, we have the inform pace raper. Uh, got 34 pace, 46 shooting, 41 dribbling. Says all. Next player, we have the inform Handanovic. Uh, this player is going to be very expensive. It's 87 diving, 87 move flexes, 88 positioning. Wow. That's all I need to say about him. On to our next player, we have the Inform Nikolov. Um, not a very popular league, not a very popular country. Uh, pretty decent for a silver, but can't seem to be used too much. Next player, we have the Inform Zwansi. I 
think how you say it. But he just looked pretty good. He has 71 shooting as a centre back, and he has 81 heading, which is just kind of crazy. I don't know how he has such good shooting. Uh, he must be a kind of David Luiz, but he does look pretty good. Uh, maybe David Luiz of the of Holland. Okay, on to the next player with the inform Grenier. Uh, he is very good. He plays for Lyon. Uh, he's French. Uh, he has some pretty good stats. He has 74 pace, 8 dribbling, 76 shooting, 84 passing, and 65 heading. Uh, it's a pretty good percentage. Maybe he needs some good dribbling, some passing, and he pretty much has that. He can be quite cheap as well because he's only 76 traded. And when people do buy informs, they look for 80 plus early just because they want to show off, I think. Um, but, anyways, next player with the inform Paulinho. And now, now this guy is going to be expensive, man. That's a fact. Because there's so many Basilva teams that are going to want to buy this player now that he hasn't been formed. I mean, just, just look at them stats, he's one of the best uh, Basilva players on the game. Alright, next of all we have the Inform Lay. Uh, looks pretty good as first silver, he has 76 pace, he has 75 shooting, 70 passing, 73 dribbling, 50 defending, and 80 heading, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure how tall he is, he is 182 centimeters if you know your in metric or improve, uh, I think it's metric, you know your metric, metric units, then you will know how tall he is. Okay, now on to our next player, the inform Allen. Uh, he does look very good, he has 83 pace, 80 dribbling, 76 shooting, 70 heading, 66 passing. For a uh, silver player, especially for silver, that is very good. Uh, some more all on stats than most uh, for silver players. Most of them have pace and skill, and that's about it. He actually does have something different about him, he has some uh, dribbling, he has some good passing, and some heading. Now on to the last player of the team, we have the Inform Flint, the only bronze player of the team, so it's not good time to buy bronze packs, but um, he does look like a pretty good uh, centre back, he has 64 pace, 70 defending, 75 heading, uh, going to be quite useful in many uh, bronze English teams, I know there's a lot of them out there, I've had them before, I know most people who um, like who've had, who have all the team have, have actually had a uh, bronze English team, and you know, you're going to be using quite a lot of them. So no, thanks for watching you guys, I hope you have enjoyed the episode, if you did leave a like, if you didn't leave a dislike, and I'll see you next time.